Hi and welcome to my first review of a Doctor Who episode. I've never done one on this channel and uh, if you don't want to be spoiled by my spoils then please look away now and don't watch this video if you haven't seen the latest Doctor Who episode which is episode 11 I believe which is enough world and enough what is it enough <laughs> world enough and time I can't say it so let's begin Let's start. The episode starts with them all stepping out the TARDIS and they're in this spacecraft which is heading towards a black hole and the black hole has this concept that at the bottom of the ship the black hole is making time faster and the top of the ship is making time extremely slow. A nice entrance into the episode we start to feel for the characters, we start to get emotional, kind of all. We are thrown into the episode with Missy being the Doctor, or as she says, being the Doctor Who, or Doctor Who, and everyone just questioning it, which is... I, I like that they do this in an episode, it's funny, it's comedic, and it just, it just makes you... Makes you grow more attached to Missy as a character, and just be like, I like her! She even dabs in the episode, she dabs. I think that they've kind of made her character slightly kind of less crazy than she was when she last appeared a few seasons back. They've kind of made her less kind of insane and more kind of, I'm evil, I'm gonna kill you if you don't do what I say. So I like that character progression they've done there. So we are introduced with that and the Doctor is giving Missy a kind of, you know, a kind of start in saying, I want to see you be good. Giving her an opportunity to redeem herself. But this episode is not redeemable. This episode is the... <laughs> Ironically, this episode is the pinpoint in which he can never properly forgive Missy for what she has done. Or should I say he? Because we're introduced to John Sim, the old master. Amazing, amazing how they introduced him at the end and I was looking forward to seeing him. I did see some spoilers previously in the news because a lot of outlets like to give away spoilers and that would have been one I would have appreciated not to see because it had been so long since seeing this actor play this role. I just wanted to be surprised but I wasn't, which is irritating. Yeah. So we're introduced to Obviously, the, the way they bring John Sim in, I just, just, I love him. I love him as a character and I love him as an actor. The fact that he's disguised the whole time as someone that is trying to help Bill. By the way, Bill gets, as you've probably seen, Bill gets completely blown a hole in her and she has to go be repaired or, or fixed, which is all an undercover thing. I mean, the minute you hear, you know, I need to be repaired or replaced or upgraded. You start to get the tingling sensation of what the villain might be in the later episodes. Whenever you hear upgrade, exterminate, or something like that, you're ever thinking Dalek, Cyberman, or, or something. One of the old timey classic villains that always comes back. And truth be told, at the end of the episode, sadly, Bill has been upgraded into a Cyberman. Specific Cyberman, I can't remember the actual name, and I'm sorry, I know some of you are watching us, probably hardcore Doctor Who fans. It begins with M, it is an old, but it's one of the old, the old, old Cybermen that we saw in the later black and white Doctor Who series. The terrifying ones, absolutely terrifying Cybermen that have, like, gas mask faces, kind of, in a sense. But this episode especially was terrifying because it just was quite reminiscent of David Bowie's last song he ever did, which was Lavarus properly, which he was in, and he's wearing like a sack on his head and he's got buttons. You know, the whole David Bowie-esque thing. So I kind of felt that whilst watching this episode with these things, or should I say people that were being upgraded. And the, th the most terrifying part in the episode was when, when one of them, uh, she was in the room and she was like, what the hell is going on here? And there's just the one Cyberman, sorry, person being upgraded that's just clicking repeatedly on the thing that says pain pain over and over again it's just it's so simplistic but it's so terrifying the fact they turn down and they mute all the people that are in absolutely agonizing pain and stuff so i just i have waited for an episode like this for such a long time i think this has been since i don't know ten, since tenant left i'd say i've waited for an episode that pulled at the heartstrings 
had the sense of mystery, had the sense of worry, and uh, it makes you generally like scared, like what the hell's going on? This has been the episode I've been waiting for, and it's been a long time, but I've really, I finally seen the episode, and I hope, I hope that the next season, not next season, I hope the next episode, the final, will not be messed up at all. I hope that it is good as this one because I literally sat on the edge of my seat the whole time. I found myself with previous episodes kind of like looking on my phone and kind of like not fully engaged because I was just like, this isn't fully capturing the essence of Doctor Who. But this episode really brought it back and I hope that this writing continues. I know the writer is leaving, but if they can go on the right track in this direction and the next episode is as good as this one, then I am going to become the full-time excited little girl I was when I first started watching Doctor Who. Um, yeah, so I want to know what your thoughts and theories and ideas were of who, who and what and everything that's going on. Side note, I think the next Doctor is going to be Tom Ellis. I, I have an idea that he might be Tom Ellis, he might be Lucifer. And I hope he is Lucifer. I know this might be completely wrong, but the fact that the actors already appeared in Doctor Who, a lot of Doctor Who actors, sorry, a lot of people that appear in Doctor Who sometimes come back. And just the fact with the hiatus of Lucifer and there's been a lot of other, other ideas of perhaps it being him. So I hope it is, because I will be so excited if it is. If it isn't and it's someone brand new, I'll be equally excited if they keep the story writing in this episode if they carry on. So I want to know your thoughts, your ideas and what you thought about the episode. Please leave them below and if you enjoy these review episodes please tell me. I'd love to know and carry on reviewing because I'm so looking forward to next week. It's only like a few days away. Not really, about five days but still yay so excited. Alright then see you later and uh, bye bye. <laughs>